Hi and welcome to trading session for SQVI. So we are going to see the transaction code SQVI and its use. So this is a display transaction code which is used to create queries. Queries are nothing but it's like a small set of it's, it's basically like a an utility provided to you by SAP by which you can combine the data from different tables and put it uh in a in a required format it is me it, it means like that sometimes uh, we need to pull the data from multiple tables and uh, in a traditional way we download it from the excel multiple excels are combined and then we apply different formulas and get take the take the report out in the desired format but here sqvi is a tool which is provided by sap which by using which we can combine the tables internally into sap system only and we can get the output as required so say for example uh, you need to pull a you need to pull the email address of all the users in sap system so there is no table which directly show you the user id and its email address you need to take the help of two tables usr21 and adr6 from usr21 you take the user id and the personal number and in adr6 table you use that personal number which gives you the email address of the corresponding person number it's like uh, the email address is assigned to the person number so here you have to download the data from two tables put it into excel and match it then the output will be user person number and email address user person number and email address so to reduce the manual task of using excel spreadsheet and spending hours we can use sqvi which makes our work very easy so here we are going to see how to create a query in sqvi and how to design the input and the output layouts so simply you have to go to transaction sqvi press enter and this is the place where you have to give the name of the query so let's say for example you need to give the query name as z underscore user underscore decode so you are going to create a query which will give you the username and the corresponding t codes or the t codes which are assigned to the user so i simply click on create okay so i mentioned a small description over here Okay, query and users, query for user and t codes assigned to user. It sh this should be table join because we are going to combine the different tables and it should be okay. So let me explain you what we are going to do over here is our target is to find out the t codes assigned to the users. So what we do is we have the data from HDR underscore users. So this table will give you the roles assigned to the users right obviously the tree codes assigned to the users are via roles only and there is another table agr underscore t codes this will give you t codes in a role right so this table will give you the t codes that are available in one role so from this table we will find out all the roles that a user have and from this table we will find out all the t codes that are that are assigned to the roles which is available or which is assigned to the user so in traditional way generally someone will pick out the data from both the tables and use the make use of spreadsheet and give you the output as user in the t code but here we will be using this in sqvi so we have to make use of two tables so this is a console for you where you have to insert the table where you have to add all the tables which are required from which you are going to pull the data so this is the button you have to click to add some table so my first table which i am going to insert is agr underscore users click on ok now the table is here the second table again i have to insert using the same button as agr underscore 
T C O D E S T codes. So here you can see both tables are available. Now there is a line, and this line is connected between the role name here and the role name here. So this is a this is known as the primary key. It means that this is the entity which combines the two roles. This is the common thing between the two tables. This is the common entry between the two tables, and they can be connected on the basis of this single same column right so simply click on this one check conditions system will tell you whether the conditions are correct or not now these two tables are combined and joined so just go back now here we have a console where we have to decide that what you are going to put into input and what you want to see in the output like so after creating a query you will be you need to enter the user ids right so you have to enter the list of all the users and in the output you wish to see the t code signed to them so we have to select those entries beside those things you have to select the fields in the input and the output when you execute this query right so this is the table name as Yes, list list field is for input. Oh, sorry, outputs, and the selection field column is for the output. I have two tables joined here, and their field names. So in the list field selection field, I need to enter the username only. So I choose here as user in the user master record because in the input field I just want to enter the user IDs, but in the output field I would want to see the username and the T code. So either you can select this username in the output. This one is available. And the transaction code. Which is available from the second table. The field is AGR T codes. Right. Extended program name. This is the field in the table which contains the transaction code for a role. So this one is role name. And this one is role T code. T code in a role. So this one should be in the output. So I choose here for selection list field. List means output, selection means input. This will des design your input. Sorry, this will design your output screen. This will design your input screen. So now this is ready for me. I will click on save. Here you can choose the whether you want to see this one first or this one second. I want to see in the username second, so I select this and click this one. So username is now down. Now if I want to see the username first and the T code name next, then I select this and put move it up. So username is now up. So now this is saved. Now I will execute it. This is the button you have to click for execute. So you execute it. Now let us see this with the help of some user ID. So this is my user ID BI sec user. Uh, this is the input field as we have designed. The input field should have only the input user ID name. Leave this one. This is nothing but this is something where you define the layout, layout of the output. You can ignore this one now. So I have entered user ID BI sec user for whom I wish to see the transaction codes assigned to him. I will simply click on execute. Okay, this user is uh, not having any role assigned to him. That's why you cannot see any T code. Let me show you. So you see, since the user does not have any role, no T codes are displayed. So now let's go back and find out some more user. So let me choose this one and see if this user has some roles. Sorry, T codes. So nothing was selected. So there is one more user. Meet and let me choose this one and assign some roles to it. I'm going to edit. I go to roles and try to find out some roles.
So there are three zeros. Let me add them. This one also. And save this. Okay, so Metan has some roles. Now let me copy copy this user and put it here. Let me see the roles assigned, T code assigned to this one. So this is the user ID and this is the T code assigned to this user. And these T codes are coming from the roles, these roles. So if you will see, if you will go into the depth of this role, you will see the T codes, these T codes are available there. So let me show you this one also. Just go to this first one. See the T codes. There's many T codes. So you open the technical names. Let's see for some SC38. So let us see whether SE38 is there or not. So SE38 is there. Second one RRMX. So RRMX is there. Now RSZ delete. RSZ delete is there. RRC1. It is there. Some SO80. SO80 is there. So this way you will get the list of all T codes assigned to the user from some roles. Thank you so much.